off! Piss in hell! Hello everybody and welcome to the United Stand. Hope you're doing very well. This is Manchester United versus Watford. And uh, the team is news isn't quite in yet. It will be in, in the next sort of four minutes or so. But uh, big, big game for United today. Very big game. We've got to win. I'm feeling like we will win. I've got to say that I'm not feeling like we're not going to win. We're at home. Um, I feel like there is a bit of momentum with United at the moment. And I do think that we will get that momentum. So, uh, yeah, good. Looking forward to it. From Manchester United. Uh, so we've got De Gea, wan -Bissaka. So Brandon Williams doesn't start. So it isn't going to be about four straight away. But no. Oh, he started Lindelof over Bayi. What a prat. What a prat. What? You what? What? Why are you starting Lindelof over Eric Bayi? He was a tr he was rubbish on Thursday night. Like, oh, Oli, 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 Oli. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? So Mate, I think... For the first time ever, I think there will be no United fans happy with a draw today. A draw today is a dross. A draw today cannot be a st the situation. We've got to go and win. We've got to win. Because we've been in this situation so many times where we've we've got an opportunity. We can be fifth tonight. You know, we can go past Spurs. We can both go past Sheffield United. I don't even know where we're in. We are in the league at the moment. I pres presume we're seventh or something like that. But you can't keep blowing these opportunities. And we've got to win. It's Watford at home. And whatever anybody says about Watford, they're in a relegation battle. Like, ooh, Watford are dangerous because they've got a new manager. Ooh, Watford. Ooh. Scott McTominay today because... If he'd played McTominay today, McTominay's only been back in full training for two days. But there's two reasons. I'm not Matic's biggest fan, but I will put my hands up and say, over the last month, he's been absolutely indispensable for us. And he's provided us a platform. And he doesn't deserve to lose his place to Mac McTominay anyway. If Matic plays bad today, McTominay starts against Club Bruges, then maybe McTominay starts against Everton. But at the moment, Matic's space is there. And, and you shouldn't be moved out, moving him out of the team. And also, there's that risk that McTominay's only just back. So, he will be rusty. Uh, Clifton, score prediction mark. I'm going to go United. Ooh, I'm going to go United to win it. 2-0. First half, and it's 0-0. Um, I think we've got to win today. I think, unfortunately... We've, we've sort of hit that business end of the season, haven't we? Whereby we want to see good football, but it, that's a bonus. I think what we need to see is results now. Um, Idea what to do in the attack, says Bogdan Gavrilla. Before anyone lips into Martial, we should all be questioning why the Welsh Obertan Dan James constantly starts says Craig Ogston, and Fred and Matchage are having stinkers, caught in possession too much, our football is dreadful, everything we do is slow and static, what do they do in training? Daniel says Agarlo needs to come on. Why does why do, why does Agarlo need to come on? I, I, I'd, I'd love to know why Agarlo comes on. Like, I said this on uh, Thursday night, everyone was like, get Agarlo on, and I said, what's he going to do? Like, what have we given to Martial that we're going to give to Agarlo? We're not creating anything. Chris Smalling is our best defender, says Dan Austin. I feel like there's a United goal coming anyway. I, feel, I, might, I might be an idiot, but I do. Bruno Fernandes has got the penalty. This is exactly what we need just before half-time. We're talking about Manchester United having the momentum. And Manchester United have won themselves a penalty. Just waiting for it, to, uh, waiting for the details to come in here. And it's Dan James, the creator, again. So United's momentum has taken on here. And it's Ben Foster who chops Bruno down there. One of those ones where basically he's got the run on the defender. He's not clean through one-on-one. -on -one. Dan James plays it through. Bruno Fernandes gets there ahead of... Uh, um, Ben Foster. And I would imagine it will be Anthony Martial taking this. Some people are saying it's a VAR. It's going to be a penalty. It's Bruno who's going to take the penalty. The crowd seeing Bruno. Bruno. Bruno Fernandes to take the penalty then. 
Come on, this will be Bruno Fernandes' first goal. And it's a cheeky little penalty from Bruno Fernandes. There was something in the air that night. The stars were bright. Fernandes runs up to the ball, does a little bit of a hop and passes it into the other corner. 1-0 to Manchester United right before half-time. It's not the goal in the first 20 minutes we wanted, but it is the goal we wanted. And I think today it's been a real struggle for United. Maybe the hangover from Thursday night, who knows? But it has been a bit of a struggle for United they are 1-0 in front, though. They've got the goal, and I think that should be it now. Jordan Such says goal, Manchester United. It is a goal. It's Bruno Fernandes' first goal for Manchester United, which I think, you know, ask Pepe at Arsenal. Getting that first goal is not easy. Um, we know at Manchester United what a player Bruno Fernandes has been, will be, and... Um, has, you know, in the short time at United, he's made a, big, made a big difference. He's already got his first assist for Harry Maguire against Chelsea. He's now got his first goal. He's playing well. He's got a goal. He's got an assist. This is the dream start for Manchester United and Bruno Fernandes. Because you're not going to have people going, oh, he's not £50 million and he's not scored in five games. £50 million, he's got no assists. We know he's playing well, but he's also got the bits to go with it. So it's 1-0 to Manchester United. Change the score. And it's a big, 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 big... Big, big goal for United right on half time. Fuck off! Pissing hell! 1 1 from a corner. Troy Deeley. Could be a VAR. VAR to the rescue, please. You can't be conceding here. Harry Maguire's convinced there's a handball on this, but. Hits the post, the header. It's zonal marking again. Still 1-0. No goal. No goal. Watford think they've equalised. Varchester United again. I don't care. I don't care. We need the points today. We need the points today. It's no goal. So Troy Deeney thinks he's scored. But it has been disallowed. I don't, I don't think that's a handball either because it, it's going to hit his body, isn't it? His, heart, his arm's next to his bowl. We're like, a, we're like a pound land Liverpool now, aren't we? We just get everything going our way in the battle for fifth <laughs> instead of the battle for the title. VAR, VAR saving United since 2019, says Patrick St-Pierre. Um, that is the rule. That is the rule, says Christian Larson. It is. So basically, the cross comes in. It hits him there. His hand is by his side, but it hits him there. So it is his hand, I suppose. Uh, well, it is. Uh, although it might sound a bit silly, but kudos for you, Mark, for speaking so highly of Bruno for so long, because I think you've somehow triggered the Glazers while it's gone by. And you're all about to get shut up, aren't you? <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Anthony Martial, Anthony Martial, every time you criticise him, Anthony Martial, shut your mouths, shut your mouths up, it's Anthony Martial, it's 2-0, it's game over, it's Manchester United, he's as cold as ice, someone call a doctor, because Anthony Martial, he gets through, he shoots against Ben Foster, he does a bit of skill, and then he dinks it over him, Mwah! That's world class. That is absolutely world class. And every single one of you in the live comments. Oh, Martial, he's too lazy. He's crap. Go back five minutes. Read the live comments. Go back and do it. Anthony Martial's lazy. Anthony Martial's crap. Anthony Martial puts it in the back of the net. That's three in three. And he has shut down this agenda that some Manchester United fans have against this player. Three in three. Three wins in three. Well, no, we didn't beat Bruges, but three goals in three. And it's just quality. It's class. It's a number nine. It's a little dink. It's, it's game over. You look like idiots. Stop slagging off a number nine with no service who makes goals out of nothing and is still scoring goals. Three on three. I just wish, I just wish he hadn't been injured at the start of the season because I said at the start of the season he'll outscore Aubameyang and Arsenal fans framed it and retweeted it and were like, oh, it's never going to happen. Well, I tell you what, he would have done it. He would have done it because the boy is class and you lot don't get it. You start slagging him off after five minutes, after 40 minutes. He's got 90 minutes to do his bits and he's done it and it's 2-0 and it's Anthony Martial and it's game over. 2-0. 
Love it. Love it. You absolute prats. I love you really, but you know what I mean? Just your agenda. Keep slagging him off. Keep doing it because he will sit you down. And he has done it all week. That's three goals in six days. Lovely goal as well. Maybe not, but it suits United now to hit them on the break. And we've got a corner now. He needs to score more goals. This is, the thing about agendas is people can't move past them. There are people who do not like Anthony Martial and will be like, well, yeah, he's just scored a goal that's won us the game again, but he's still lazy. He doesn't do enough. And yet his stats now in the chances that he gets are better than any striker in the league. People just have an issue with him. I never really liked Matic, but you'll notice over the last month, I've said Matic has done fantastically well for United. He's been indispensable, etc., etc. Sometimes you've got to turn it around. I'm not muted. I'm just celebrating the goal. 3-0 to Manchester United. We've hit them on the break again, and Mason Greenwood gets his goal. And Agallo will come on now. But it's a lovely run. It's Mason Greenwood who basically does it. He starts it off himself. And that will be an assist for Bruno Fernandes that time. That is an assist for Bruno that time. There's no doubt about that. The future is written. Bruno with the assist. Mason Greenwood with the finish. There's so much space out there. Watford have tried to get back into the game. There'll be a treble substitution now because it's worked well. Greenwood to the Euros. Get it started, says Kel Banks. And I'm, like, I, I'm liking that goal from Greenwood for many reasons, really. But mainly because I think he's had a tough old game today. And he's just gone down with cramp, apparently. But he's had a tough old game today because it's not been that sort of game where there's been a lot of space. But the way that Bruno waits the pass, he just gets it out of his feet and he finishes it absolutely superbly. It's such a good finish when you watch, when, when you, when you watch it back. It's absolutely fantastic. So Manchester United leading 3-0. And again, we've, done, we've gone and done what we've done a couple of times this season. Norwich, Brighton.